Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, I'm glad you're here today. Hi, and welcome back to another story time with me, Miss Danielle. I'm so excited that you've come to join me today because I've brought a funny book to share with you. Here it is, it's called The Bad Seed. Oh, look at his face, he's kind of like, mm. This book is written by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. It's pretty funny. I laughed reading this book, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump in. The bad seed. Here's some other seeds and nuts. The Bad Seed by Jory John, illustrated by Pete Hasfeld. I am a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, That seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, There goes that bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our sunflower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Oh, it says sunflower seeds, delicious. Everything went dark. And then, then, a giant. Oh no, he's eating sunflower seeds. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered. Ah! Pachoo! But I was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. Thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A water gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. He looks pretty angry. A bad seed. That's right, I stopped smiling. I kept to myself, I drifted. I was a friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care and it suited me. It's pretty sad. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad. 
but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen, and I still show up late, and I still talk during movies, and I do all sorts of other bad stuff. But I also say thank you. And I say please. And I smile. And I hold the doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad, sometimes I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I heard that. The end. Okay, that book was pretty funny, right? I've never really thought about a sunflower seed being a bad seed. But I'm kind of glad at the end that he started learning that it's really awesome to be a good seed sometime and to be good to his friends and other people. So what things do you think you can do at home that could be helpful like the bad seed was trying to do? You can listen. You can say please and thank you. You can help clean up your toys or help clean up from dinner. There's lots of good ways to show the bad seed how to be good. Well, until next time, I wish you well.